Okay, so in this uh, quick little demonstration, we're going to show the Creality Ender 3 upgrade. Um, so here we have our single extruder. Uh, we have our uh, the actual extruder drive itself. So this is the hot end and this is the drive. Um, and then we have the top of it where we're going to actually mount the uh, color changers themselves. Uh, so the first thing that I did is I uh, removed the top frame or the uh, uh, filament holder here. Uh, this is normally installed here. You just back the screws out. Uh, these T-nuts will turn 90 degrees and it'll come right out. Uh, we can reinstall this when we're done later on if you want to. Um, and uh, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is actually printing a different spool holder that actually has spools on both sides uh, with the two color changer. That way we can actually have a spool here and a spool here um, and they can both feed into the same spot. Uh, so that's an optional upgrade you guys can do later on. Uh, so we have four basic pieces. Grab them here. So we have four basic pieces of the Ender 3 upgrade. Uh, we have the friction arm. So this is going to mount right here. And we will install the friction pad on here shortly, which is a piece of a ceramic coated sandpaper, basically, uh, with a nice compliant surface on the bottom of it to allow it to first off stick um, and stay very strongly on there, but also to give it a little give uh, once we run into the next piece, which are the friction arms. So here I have the friction arms already built. Um, I don't have the uh, T-nuts on here just yet, but we'll, we'll go ahead and add those as well. Uh, inside here you'll see that we have uh, the PTFE tube right here, and in this case you can see it's it's been cut down uh, to a shape uh, that allows the filament to guide through here, but also allows the friction arm to uh, come up to it here. I've also screwed in both uh, the, uh, the uh, PTFE connectors, so they actually just screw right into the threaded sides here. Um, so you can see that that just goes in just like that. Now these are going to mount one here and one here. Uh, we will have the correct position here shortly. I'll show you exactly where these need to go. And then the last piece that we have is the actual extruder drive block itself. And uh, in this case, we have a modified version of the uh, uh, drive block that allows for flexible filaments. Um, I'm, I've modified it in a couple different ways to allow for this to actually be used here. Uh, the first thing that I did is uh, I made it threaded. Um, I went ahead and changed the opening of the throat here so it comes to a nicer point here. It fits between the gears a little bit better. This allows you to not necessarily have to have the PTFE tube on the inside if you're not running flexible filaments. So it's kind of hard to get quite right, but um, you can still put it in there and it'll still work just fine. Uh, the second thing that we have on here is the actual Y splitter itself. And in here I have the, uh, again, we have threaded inserts uh, for each one of these. Um, so that the, the two connectors can actually screw right in. And uh, we have an extra hole here. So this is for a um, included uh, screw that's in your kit that allows you to, to tie this into uh, the actual uh, brass fitting on your printer here. Um, and then uh, this actually has a cutout, so this will go right around the, uh, the Z-rod there. Um, and uh, so this is going to mount right here. We're going to have to take this all apart, uh, but it's very simple. So grab your two and a half millimeter wrench. Uh, we're going to use the same uh, two millimeter wrench here and two and a half millimeter wrench. These were included in your kit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, unscrew this and put it into here. We'll use the arm, the spring, and the drive. Uh, all of this mechanism here was, is actually going to mount directly into here. And then your included PTFE tube in the kit uh, will get installed from, from these connectors down into that. And then we'll use the existing tube here. Now I do have one other change for you. Included in the kit is a small PTFE tube that's going to go on the inside of the extruder for the Creality machines. That's going to constrict this. It's not standard one, uh, two millimeter inner diameter tubing. It's actually 1.8 millimeter inner diameter tubing. And we're going to have a small section of it down in the very hot end 
Um, and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to uh, shape the tip to make sure that it's small enough when it cools so it pulls out the PLA. It's going to cool down inside that PTFE tube uh, to gain its shape and then it'll back it out. That guarantees it'll fit all the way through the rest of the path uh, for the rest of the system. We'll then use some uh, very clever G-code to actually move it in and out to actually cut off any of the stringing that's left over so that you actually have a short piece of um, pointed tipped uh, uh, filament that gets pulled back into uh, the Y splitter so that you can actually load it and unload it and reload it just fine. I do want to point out, I've had a couple of people uh, actually ask about this, if this is a problem or not. Uh, in the side of this part, you'll see that this screw actually uh, goes into the opening for the, uh, for the filament path. And on this side, you can see it's completely open. This is quite all right. The filament will not come out of these tubes. Uh, during normal use, it'll just glide right past those. So there's no pressure on these. Um, so the filament won't even try to bend or anything as it comes out of there. It'll just simply glide on through. Remember, when this is in place, the Z-rod actually is on this side, so it won't, won't be affecting it. It kind of acts as a barrier for it to escape. And then on this side, you have the screw pr uh, protecting it. Um, so it's not going to hurt anything. So that's quite all right. Um, also, don't worry if these uh, little tips on the, uh, uh, the screws here, or around the screws, if those break off, that's quite all right as well. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, those are kind of fragile, and maybe I'll beef that up in the next design. Uh, but for now, it'll work just fine. Uh, so let's get in started installing this.